You know, we played really well in the first half. Uh, defense was better. Uh, really, everything we needed to do in the first half, we did. We were good on offense. We got people, everybody involved. Cole got going. Jesse stayed out of foul trouble, which is a big key now for us going forward. But you know they're going to press and they're going to try to, they got to do whatever they can to get back in the game. And we didn't handle it very well. Joe turned it over once, Jimmy once. I think everybody turned it over once. And when you're playing the three point shot and they're shooting the, the way they are, um, a 16 point lead is nothing. You make two or three turnovers and it's a nine point or seven point game. And I thought we were resilient down the stretch in terms of getting to the basket. Buddy made a couple really good feeds to Jesse, and then Jesse got a big rebound and put it back in. But when a team's pressing you and running down and shooting threes, you've got to keep, you've got to keep scoring. I thought we actually had more turnovers than that. It's, 11's not as bad as I thought it was. And the rebounding turned out much better than I thought that was, too. But um, again, you know, you give, you're going to give up that many threes. It's, it, it's not easy. But the key is, you know, Jesse's in there at the end, blocked a couple shots, finished a couple plays down there. And, you know, we need to have him in the game. He was smarter tonight and uh, really was a factor, big factor in the game for us. Questions? Jim? What has Jesse done since the end of last season to get to this point so early in this season where he's so important for you now? Well, he's just, you know, again, he's getting stronger. He was a factor last year. Um, this team is not a physical team, so I think he has a good, a big advantage out there against this team. They're smaller. But, you know, he's just moving better. He's learning. And uh, he can finish around the – the one thing he has is that he can finish around the basket. He, he can do that. He's got good hands. He can catch and finish. And, uh, you know, we've got to keep looking for him. I thought, you know, again, I thought Buddy did a really good job a couple times and got down there and found him for layups. And, you know, I think that's, that was important. But the rebounding was really good. You know, we, got it. we have to get Cole going. He got going tonight. We're a different team when he's shooting. You know, we're up 16, 18 in the first half. He's got 9 or 10. And before we'd be up, without him shooting, we'd be up 8. So now when they press, they're going to get back in the game. So we need him to, to play that way. He can play that way. And, uh, you know, I was a little disappointed tonight. I wanted to get Benny and Cy in there a little bit more, but with the pressure, I didn't want to take a chance late with two young, two inexperienced players getting in there. But uh, I told them both, we were, we're tired. This was a tough game, uh, two tough games. BCU was in our face the whole game. So we're going to have to play those three guys tomorrow and, uh, you know, get these guys some rest during the game. But uh, it was a good win. It was marred by that we didn't handle the press as well as we should have. And, uh, you know, that's a little disappointing. But they have a small, quick team out there. And, when we did get it down and got a shot, Jesse's the only big guy out there, so he got it and put it back in. So that's that's really good for us. But again, uh, it should have been a little bit easier the way we played. We played a a really really good first half, really good first half, both ends of the court. Take a Zoom question. Coach Andrew Miner, we are going to win.com. Um, yesterday, BCU played you guys really tough, uh, defensively relentless, like you said. Uh, I was curious what uh, what the adjustments that you made going into tonight's game against Arizona State that allowed you to have such a, uh, a more productive night offensively um, for for your team. Well, VCU is, I think, one of the top five or six probably defensive teams in the country. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, I don't. I think that's where they are. At least I think they're there anyway, whether they are or not. And uh, you know, they they just forced us out of stuff. We 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 got some stuff. Uh, <coughs> we had a, a little breakdown on defense, which really hurt us. And uh, you know, we didn't get Cole going. Uh, that would have made a difference in the game. But um, 
They're good. Everybody here is good. And I think Auburn is as good as anybody here. Uh, you know, we've got them tomorrow. So uh, we're, just, we're glad to get this win and, and hopefully learn a little bit from it. Sure. Thank you, Coach. Questions for the players? Cole, what was the difference for you tonight from the past couple games, especially yesterday when you were over 7 for 3? Um, I don't know. I'm just thankful to Coach Bayheim, all the coaches, for just to keep on believing in me. Um, they, they trust me to go out there and play my game, um, play it at a high level, and, and, they, and they've never lost confidence in me. So I'm just blessed and thankful for them. Um, there's no no real adjustments. Just just trying to just trying to shoot shoot the shots that I get, trying to shoot open shots, trying to make plays and everything in between. But uh, I'm just thankful to to these, this coaching staff, my teammates, and everyone's been picking me up during this time when when I haven't been making shots. So. Um, just trying to learn learn everything about where I can get my shots here, and obviously defensively, just trying to get better every every day. We'll take another Zoom question. And this is for both both of you guys. Um, you know, for basically the entire second half, you played uh, the full the full twenty um, or just about. Uh, was the, was there any point in time where where that was determined, or were you expecting that of coming in out after half? Uh, I guess. Um... <clears throat> When we got out there, uh, like Coach said, when it, when you're in a press like that, it's it's hard to come off off the bench uh, in the last like dying moments and just uh, immediately pick up the game like that. So I wouldn't say I expected it or I was thinking about it, but it's just uh, how it panned out. And yeah, I'm happy we won it. Yeah, I mean, I'm willing to do whatever. I'll, I'll play 40 minutes if, if what it takes to win. Coach Bayheim's a competitor. He wants to win, and, and we're going to do whatever it takes to win. So I'll, I'll play 40 for him. I know Jesse will do the same, and I, I know everyone else on our team would do the same. So whatever it takes to win, I'm, I'm willing to do. And if that's 20 minutes, 40 minutes, I'm, I'm willing to do it. Sure. Thank you, guys. Any other questions? Jesse, you obviously had a good game, but a couple of times when you like put the ball on the floor from the free throw line or the three what was that? Where did that come from? Uh, the, the drives? Uh, I mean, <laughs> I guess it was just uh, the opportunity. Uh, and like, yeah, when it's there, you know, I got the, the, the green light. But it's more um, like they gave it a, a big uh, space there. I just try to take it. It's not something I, uh, I don't know, <laughs> think about too much. But at that point, it just uh, looked good. And yeah. If there's a shot, there's a shot. If there's a drive, I'll take it too. Jeff, did he have the green light there? <laughs> they're spread out so much on the shooters, and they're up on Jesse so yeah. much that it's not a hard drive. There's a, a, a normal defense, teams play against teams that have nine shooters, there'll be two guys waiting for them. They're not going to be there. So he can put, put the ball down on the floor and get there pretty easily. We have another Zoom question. Uh, Coach, with such a quick turnaround, how do you go about preparing a uh, tip off in 18 hours? Well, the same thing as last night. You know, we finished last night late and we had to get ready. Um, you know, we'll meet, have a meeting. We'll look at the, some tape uh, with, uh, with the players, show them some cut ups, have a little walkthrough, and, uh, you know, be ready to go. Uh, Auburn is uh, another team that press, can press, and, you know, we're going to have to be. Uh, be prepared for that and uh, you know they're a tremendous defensive team they can come after you and we're going to have to be prepared for that okay, Mike. Jesse what was the difference to, from yesterday in terms of staying out of foul trouble I mean, what did the coaches say to you after last night's game when you, when you did foul uh, yeah like coach said uh, I'm just uh, I, I, I just try to uh, stay down more when they uh, would try to fake or um, uh, in any way possible. I would just not be as uh, jumpy or uh, whatever because I know it's like um, important in that late situation to not be giving away stupid fouls or uh, easy points or just racking up too many fouls in any way. So uh, yeah, I just try to stay. Um, a little bit more, yeah, down, less, uh, I don't know how to say it, yeah, off my feet all the time. Did you know 
know you had a career high tonight, Justin. After the game, yeah, I just looked at the sheet, but uh, yeah. And then Cole just simply what did you see from Justin? Yeah, Jesse works really hard. Um, he during the summer you could see the development each and every day. Um, Coach Bayheim t- talks about how, how how much Jesse's gotten better since last year. I, I, I didn't see him his first two years, so just see, just seeing him the past year, the past what uh, four or five months, the the progression that he's made and with his body, with his mentality, with uh, his aggressiveness has been unbelievable to see so far. So I think Jesse, this is just the just the beginning of his potential, and and we're excited to see where he can go this year. And, and obviously, he's a big part of our team. I tell him that every single day. And, uh, and and he, he's stepping up for us, so it was great. All good. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.